Hi, everybody. I'm Victor Howell with the Team Automotive Group. Happy to be sitting alongside Ken Cox, our Fixed Operations Director for Team Toyota, one of the three dealerships in our Team Automotive family. And we're coming to you today to try to share some information with you that can help you when you get back to your vehicles. When we talk about having been in your shoes, and Ken, I know you know all too well, we literally mean it. This was us one year ago, almost to the day, when an unnamed storm sat over Baton Rouge for more than three days, and we were flooded. And I know you had your hands on every vehicle more than 500 you had to go through to figure out could they start were they salvageable and then what we did to bounce back the encouraging news is we did bounce back That's and right. we know you will too so ken i really wanted to get you in here to kind of share your expertise as to what we learned one year ago we didn't do it on our own and we don't want you to do it on your own so as the waters are starting to go down in the in the western part of the state of louisiana and the eastern part of texas what are some of the things that these people should do once they're able to get back to their car and try to evaluate, what do I do now? Well, first of all, um, just a, a little note from back then, uh, it, everything that's going on uh, is gonna, obviously it's devastating and it's overwhelming. And uh, the way that I feel we were able to accomplish with lots of help uh, from a lot of great people uh, was to take one thing at a time. And, and, and don't look at the whole Mm -hmm. uh, scenario take one thing at a time and so with us as dealership uh, you know we had 500 cars <laughs> and to look at 500 cars that don't start and and are and, are, and have water in them uh, it's a little overwhelming uh, so a few tips uh, when you come back to your car uh, when the water's receded and you can evaluate the situation and and see exactly and determine some things uh, the first thing you don't want to do is you don't want to try to start the vehicle. Uh, if you start the vehicle, what can happen is you've got some water ingestion, possibly, in the air intake. And when you turn it over, it may suck that water into the engine and water doesn't compress. And therefore, you damage your engine. So you don't want to start the vehicle. Uh, a second reason behind that is because even if it, the water didn't get to high enough for the water to get in the air intake, it may have gotten into the transmission vent. And that vent, uh, if water gets in there and you turn the engine over and drive it, then you're mixing the water with the transmission fluid and therefore get some transmission damage. So uh, rule number one is don't start the vehicle, don't move the vehicle. Um, uh, make sure that if, if, if you're, you're really your next step is uh, to try to dry it out as quickly as you can. Get the windows rolled down, uh, you know, get a wet vac. Uh, we had 500 cars out there on the lot. <laughs> And we had a team of people going yep. through and opening windows. Uh, sometimes you can't get the window down. If it got high enough where you got no power, then you just open the doors, let it air out, get a wet vac, suck that water out of there. And, uh, and then obviously that next step will be, hey, it's time to contact the insurance company. At that point, they'll send an adjuster out to make an evaluation and also uh, get it to a shop so that they can evaluate uh, how bad the water damage is. And I know a couple of things you talked about. First of all, not starting it. It's so against your instinct because you want to go start it. And I remember we all sat in one and it actually started. We were all trying to see. We couldn't believe it started on our lot, but then we knew it was already, we knew we weren't able to salvage it, but we were shocked that it started. So it goes against your instinct. And the other thing that this personally I had to get past last year was you talk about airing it out. I remember even after all that rain passed, more rain came. But you got to remember, it's been sitting in water. So get that out of your head. Oh, the window's down or the door's open. You have to do what you can to get that air flow because right. it's been sitting closed for so long. That's right. So make sure you're able to do that. So don't start it. Try to air it out as best you can. And then most importantly, contact somebody in a service department to see what you can do and insurance to see what's, what can be done, if anything, with your vehicle. That's right. Once, once the, the vehicle gets to a repair facility, you're going to have an appraiser and adjuster for your insurance company come out and evaluate the vehicle with the repair facility. And they'll determine what necessary repairs need to be made so that you can get that vehicle repaired, get it back on the road and uh, be back in business. We know you are a few hours away from us, but anything we can do here at the Team Automotive Group to help you, we are ready to do so. On your screen, you will see the phone numbers and the locations, the web addresses for all three of our stores as part of the Team Automotive Group. Team Toyota on I-12 at the O'Neill Lane exit, Team Honda on Segan Lane in Baton Rouge, and our all-new dealership, Team Mazda on Airline Highway. You'll see the websites, you'll see the phone numbers. Anything we can do to assist you, including getting a new vehicle, if your vehicle is not salvageable, we have hundreds of new vehicles and 
quality certified and pre-owned vehicles at all three locations with discounts for anyone who's been affected by the flood. So let us know how we can be there to help you. We've been there. We weren't able to do it on our own and we don't want you to do it on your own either. We know you will get through this and the Team Automotive Group is here ready to help you in any way we can. Thank you so much and all the best to all of you.